Solve the absolute value equation. So when you're solving absolute value equations, the very first step is to isolate the absolute value. So in this case, our absolute value function is being multiplied by negative 2. So we'll start by dividing both sides by negative 2. So divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. So then we have the absolute value of x plus 3. And that's equal to negative 5 over 2. Now, this is a little bit sneaky. Normally, normally the rule is if you have the absolute value of x and it's equal to a, then x is equal to plus or minus a. So x is a or x is negative a. So you drop the absolute value and you put a plus or minus. The thing is, this rule is only valid when a is greater than or equal to 0. So a can't be negative. So here it's negative, so we can't use the rule. So what does this mean? Well, if you think about it, the absolute value of something is the distance between that something and 0. So we're saying the distance between, some, between this number, x plus 3, and 0 is negative. Well, distance can't be negative. Your absolute value can never be negative. So the answer here is no solution. So if you're ever doing a problem and you get something like absolute value of blah, and it's negative, game over. The answer is always no solution. I hope this video has been helpful.